and namaste beautiful beings this is Linda Pearl and welcome to this cosmic channel so this week the 13th of March we are receiving a beautiful new moon Pisces and Pisces it's the end of the zodiac so we're coming to an end with an opportunity to really plant a seed this is you know a new moon in a particular sign only happens once a year and a sign being at the end of the zodiac that means that there's a lot of energy behind this to assist you in what it is that you want to plant and move forward into. Pisces invites you into a bit of a daydream with this idea of returning to spirit is that everything else doesn't really matter except for this longing to be inspired to be with spirit it activates your creativity your imagination your daydreaming so it's an opportune time to use your mind for something really powerful and really good new moons are about coming within about finding quietness and stillness being inside so we can be in that yin space to really find the roots the foundation of what it is that we wish to bring forward into our next chapter and it is we're moving into springtime so this is a new birthing of a new chapter what is birthing inside of you and everything at the moment seems rather curious I've been receiving some curious insights and guidance which we'll see if I can sprinkle it into this uh, sharing as well. So let us see what the cards have to say for us today. Um, I'm kind of giggling because there's been this theme in the cards for myself and so I'm just wondering if this theme will continue through as we read here together. Because this reading is for you and this reading is for me, it's for all of us, it's for the collective which is really Pisces type of energy when we get to the last sort of three zodiac signs in the zodiac um, spiral circle it's all about this greater collective what we can do at a greater like a greater space for each other what can we hold for each other so it's not just about our individual anymore it's as i do my individual work i'm doing this individual work for all of humanity if that makes sense and a card that happened to come out before this when I was teaching Pranayam and Pranic Healing was about returning to Spirit, to giving everything that you have, giving that to Spirit. It's super simple. We try and make things complex and it's really, really not. It's just the human mind's trying to understand how things work. And all it is, it's, you know, a simple answer would be good. <laughs> A equals this, B equals that. That's from the point of the universe, right? It doesn't have to have X, Y, and Z and a hypothesis about everything else in it either. There's a simplicity, there's a germination. And so we're at this time of choosing for ourselves what is it we want to germinate into our future. Take another deep breath in. And we use these breaths together as moments of calming and centering our spirit. One more deep breath in. And just relax into this moment. And see what guidance has to offer us. I love this. And it says enlightenment. And it seems like a boat that's sailing. There's a star theme that is being continuing. I keep getting like these stars. Last week it kind of started. And it's it coincides with Pisces type of energy in this imagination workshop that I'm sharing really getting into that spaciousness of ourself and that we're not just us in this world and on this earth but this whole gigantic galaxy that we know of and all the galaxies that are beyond us too and how we were spiraling around this greater source and it's like the milky way too which has been a theme of mine <laughs> and my husband's of wanting to go take photos of the milky way and then there's this like almost like aurora borealis feeling coming in so there's all these like elements from space and the card at the bottom says enlightenment so this idea of expanding our minds we had last week i did breathwork on friday and mercury and 
Jupiter were conjunct together. So now these two conjunct together in Aquarius gives us again the space of getting outside of the box. It's about creating great opportunity. And we can still, on the wings of that energy, great opportunity that can really slide our way forward to where it is that we want to be going. Astrology has been sharing, it's time for us to clear our minds do you want to live in a world of drama or do you want to live in a world of light? So it's about choosing your plight. <laughs> I like how that rhymes. Which direction you want to go in? This is about sailing. And it's almost like sailing away from this known lightness, this candy cotton color here that almost like matches my outfit, the sky. And this, actually, I'll show you a card after this, where there was a hole and spirit came through and eagle came through to lift us up and to show us the stars so there's this theme but now we're sailing away into the unknown every day is actually the unknown because we have no idea what's going to happen but again we can choose for ourselves where we wish to put our energy the fear of the unknown or the expected excitement of what lays within the unknown what is secrets that will be revealed to us so it feels like there's secrets being revealed to us and we're on this journey. We've graduated from one world to the next. I'm going to show you this card because I literally just picked this card up like 30 minutes ago in a different reading. This is energy that's this hole here. Spirit came down to, is at the bottom it says taking risks. And the guidance was, what bigger, best risk could you take is to give your mind and yourself to spirit and say, thank you for guiding me. And eagle is this representation of spirit, the most high coming down. And then there's stars. And then our meditation before I picked this card, there were stars too. And previously in this week, the star theme kept coming as well. So there's this thing about that if we gaze towards the stars, we don't know what lives beyond. But that's okay. There's this idea, because we're in Pisces, of daydreaming possibilities and potentials. That's that quantum field. There's this energy of rising, which is this enlightenment, rising through the mind, rising through the heart, on this maybe even unexpected journey. It says taking risks. So if you've been holding back on something, and it's been a heart's desire, like a heart pain, heart yearning, the only thing that's blocking you is your fear. So stand in your power to rise with spirit. Take that risk, rise with spirit. Instead of being a wind, a wind, like a, just a leaf blown by the wind, let wind become spirit blowing you in the right direction. Or allow yourself to anchor yourself into spirit, to lift you up and to soar with spirit into these netherlands, wherever we may be going. And it shows like there's potential energy, there's new things to be found, this new earth. Maybe it's it is here on earth, but it's bringing through this new consciousness, this new way of thinking. If every human just decided to change how they were thinking, and maybe it's just towards something more positive, we'd probably turn around everything that's going on in the world. If we could magically touch each person, person on the crown of their head with an inspiration that good is power, that good is powerful, that good brings peace, that Good gives us everything that we need. Maybe we can sail off into that starry night with not a fear in mind. So it feels like great spirit is here with us. Take that risk. Enlighten the mind. Delight the mind. And saying thank you angels, spirit guides, teachers of the light, to show me, help me navigate to where I am bound to go where I'm destined to go, where my soul is wishing for me to go, no matter which way I go, it doesn't matter which street you choose, towards the soul evolution, which is the enlightenment, is realizing this life for good, realizing the lessons that you've learned in this life can help you on your way. So everything that happens in our life, maybe we use a new lens, it may appear dark, but maybe through the darkness we find these worlds of light that are hidden within the dark, within ourself too, our own creative spark. So hopefully that makes some sense. Again, this is a new moon Pisces type of energy. 
So um, if you're coming from that point of view, you probably make a lot of sense. This is an invitation to your inner creativity, to learning truly who you are, to listening to your heart, being heart-centered, being in this place of absolute love. So from my heart to your heart, may be beautifully blessed. Namaste. This is Belinda Pearl, and you can always find me at BelindaPearl.com. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Namaste.